is AR the equalizer. The data scientists are boxing, spinning the block for another breakdown. Let's get into it. In today's video, we are continuing the strategy execution series in which I am now highlighting Errol Spence Jr. and the things that he needs to do to secure a victory over Terrence Bud Crawford. Come July 29th, T-Mobile Arena, Las Vegas, Nevada. If you can pull up, get your tickets, support these fighters, but I believe it's sold out, so scratch that. Buy the pay-per-view. Buy the pay-per-view. If you're hosting a fight party, yo, buy the pay-per-view for your friends and family, buy the pay-per-views for your next door neighbor, spread the word. Let's, let's really make this mega. Let's really make this mega. You heard? And these are the keys to victory versus Terrence Crawford for Errol Spence Jr. Errol Spence Jr. is victorious if he fights his fight, which is walking forward in the high guard, looking to set up a relentless barrage of power shots on the body attack until Bud breaks. The versions of Spence to be replicated in this fight is the Udonis, the Udonis Ugas version of Errol Spence and the Lamont Peterson version of Errol Spence. For the Udonis Ugas fight, Errol Spence showed superior pressure fighting on the inside, tirelessly delivering hooks to the body as if Ugas was a standing heavy bag. The version, um, the Lamont Peterson version of Errol Spence had the discipline shown in the Ugas fight. It was synonymous. The pressure was entire. It was entire until both guys broke. And the thing about it, I know you always say, oh, Spence, he always fights like that. But in these two particular fights, he was sharp, he was focused, he had the look in his eye like, I ain't breaking this guy. I ain't breaking Lamont Peterson, I ain't breaking you, Dennis Ugas. I ain't breaking them, they're not stopping me. I don't care what they hit me with, I am breaking him. It's the mind, the mentality. How can you execute on your strategy? Who executes the best? If I'm making sense, come on, man, y'all gotta, y'all gotta smash the like, y'all gotta, and y'all gotta talk to me in the comments. Right? The versions of Spence not to be replicated fight night is the Mikey Garcia version of Errol Spence. What I mean by that is trying a different look by boxing is the last thing that Spence would opt to do. Trying to box Bud Crawford would actually be taking away from what makes Errol Spence who he is. As a boxer on the outside, he'll get trapped and outboxed by Terrence Crawford and ultimately set up with something that would stop him in his tracks. Another version of Spence not to be replicated, Fight Night, is the Sean Porter version of Errol Spence. And I'll tell you why. Going into the Terrence Crawford fight, he must not do what he did against Sean Porter which was abandoning the game plan just to stand still and trade without much purpose. There must be a focus on specific setup shots, whether it's a double jab and a, a right hook to the body or a pawing southpaw jab to blind Terrence Crawford and bring an uppercut behind it. A, a rear uppercut right a left a left uppercut and a right hook to the body you know what it has to be some type of purpose it can't be oh i'm just gonna see what you do and i'm gonna try to come back with something stronger that's what that sean porter fight was about man errol spence he, he had no game plan he didn't have a game plan it was just let me see what you gonna do and I'm going to show you what I can do. Nah, that's, that ain't going to work because that almost 
cost them that fight. Not sticking to the game plan, not having a game plan, a strategic game plan, it almost cost Errol Spence the fight. Had it not been for that 11th round knockdown, I don't know if we'll even be having this conversation right now. There must be a, a focus on specific setup shots to throw in order to work to the inside to neutralize Bud Crawford. Haphazardly, trading will get spent set up with debilitating counter shots from Bud Crawford. The game plan must be executed and not abandoned. That's it. That's all I got for y'all. That's all I got for y'all. I'm not going a whole hour. I'm not going in circles. I'm not going to talk you guys in circles about, oh, by this round, he got to do this. By that round, he got to do that. And, nah, because boxing really don't work like that. You got to go for what the man is putting in front of you. But because we have film study and guys have tendencies, we go off of tendencies and we try to counteract what we think that they're going to do but all in all we must fight our fight because if you get stuck thinking too much you will get whooped this is coming from a, a guy who box for real you think too much you will get whooped yes boxing is a thinking man's game but it's in split seconds you got to move quick you got to know what to do boom 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 point a point point b point c point d point e and running back and forth like that. If we got to go from D to E for about two rounds, we going to do D to, D to E for two rounds. We're going to go back to A to B for the next three rounds. And then we're going to work it all the way through A through E. A, B, C, D, E. All the way through. Until we get what we want. Until we find that opening to stop this guy in front of us. That's boxing. It's not, oh, so by round seven, yeah, this might happen. Now, that, that's all hypothetical. It's all That's a guessing game, people. This channel is not the guessing game. I'm just breaking down what I see with my eyes, giving an educated guess, giving a data scientist, the boxing data scientist hypothesis, because ain't nobody else doing it like this, giving y'all that flavor, giving y'all that juice, giving y'all that potion, right? Not no magic potion Just the, you know, the, the different chemicals You know what I mean? A little bit of experience, a little bit of the eye test A little bit of science, you know what I mean? Let's give you all that potion So that y'all can decide for yourselves You know what I mean? But that's all I got That's what Errol Spence needs to do To be victorious Come July 29th If y'all rocking with it Make sure y'all like Make sure y'all share. Even if you don't like it, tell me what's up in the comments. Talk to me. Let's talk boxing. That's why we're here. Let's talk boxing. Right? But if you are rocking with it, make sure you hit the notification bell to get updates on everything that's being posted for. Everything is posted with a purpose. And I'm pretty sure if you're, you're following me this far, you'll enjoy even more what's to come down the pipeline it's been real it's your boy ar the equalizer until next time we out